We know you got classics, especially with the reels. We're going to talk about them shortly. But what do you think was your most important reel? What was that one reel that like changed everything for you? Or that first skit that changed everything for you? So my OG video. So <clears throat> my OG video, it went viral like 2010. Mm-hmm. That it was like I was like um, like a white couple door and I clinked like a little plant vase. I was like, I was like Chris Rock the broke version on that video. <laughs> like I was like Pookie on New Jack City. That's when I was broke, broke. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was at the door, clinked the little plant vase. I was like, I'm gonna be quick like Nestle, be the like Michael Jackson. I had like on a I had a shirt and top, but I had like a it was a short sleeve. Like it was crazy. Like some baggy shoes. I had on some like Elevens too. I had on like some Space Jams. Mm. Uh, feet was yeah, always good, like, huh? yeah, yeah, as so, you could tell. Yeah, so yeah, I had. But that was my first video that went super crazy because it 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 generated like three hundred million views just on YouTube alone. Damn. Damn. So I went viral two thousand ten. I ain't found out till like twenty seventeen because I was so locked in with door to door. You know what I'm saying? I was working eight days a week and like <clears throat> the business that I was in, it's like a jealous business. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So like like basketball, whatever you great at, like I'm pretty sure Jeff, he was locked into basketball. You got to eat, sleep and drink it. And me with sales because I started doing sales at like 12 years old coming from Detroit. You know what I'm saying? He who suffered remember and I was so broke I couldn't pay attention. I remember asking my mom because she gave me some basketball shoes. I had on like some XJ 900s and she couldn't, she couldn't afford them. You know what I'm saying? She was raising <laughs> six kids. So I went to school and I had on some slip and slide records before Trick Daddy. I slid out the gym into the lunch room, man. Like, that's when I became a roast master, you know what I'm saying? So that's where the personality came mm. in because I was defending myself, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so it was crazy. That's how I started in sales. So <clears throat> fast forward to, like, I turned 18 because I, I had that sales job from, like, 12 to 14. And then, like, when my grandmother passed away when I was, like, 18, I quit my sales job, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, I quit. My uh, I quit school. I stopped playing basketball and everything because I'm like six four. So I was playing basketball. I was like really into basketball, but I needed money. You know what I'm saying? And when mm -hmm. I was 18, I remember my mom told me when I dropped out of um, high school my senior year, she was like, "Either you're gonna get a job." Or you gonna go back to school? And I remember working at Burger King for like thirty minutes, and I told myself <laughs> that I'd never punch a clock unless I swung on Flavor Flav because I was making so much money <laughs> at twelve years old selling newspaper subscription door to door that. I knew right then and there, besides actors and entertainers, the highest paid people and sell, I mean, and, and, and profession of dealing with, like, rather if you were at, like, you're going to make a lot of money if you're an athlete or you an entrepreneur or if you're a rapper, you know what I'm saying? Or mm -hmm. you do music, an entertainer, comedian, whatever, movie, you know what I'm saying? But I found out coming from Detroit, Michigan, or being a product of my environment that you ain't really got to make it out of the hood, quote unquote being an athlete or a rapper or selling mm -hmm. drugs or, you know what I'm saying, or an entertainer. Like, I was making more money at 12 years old out than my mom. You know what I'm saying? I was making, like, three to $500. One, one week, I made, like, 700 bucks, and she couldn't believe it. Like, it was crazy because I remember when I told her, like, when she couldn't afford me them basketball shoes, I was like, you know what? I'm about to get this paper out job. She's like, no, you're not. I'm like, yes, I am. I'm like, I'm about to go in the suburbs and knock on these people's doors and, mm -hmm. and deliver papers. She's like, and they going to kidnap you and they going to snatch you in their house. And then when I showed her that first check, she's like, oh, yeah, keep doing it, keep doing it. <laughs> so it was like, you know what I'm saying? You know how it is. Mom yeah. don't want you to lead a nest. But then when you provide and you paying phone bills and you paying help and paying rent. And Different responsibility. It was sometimes I came in and she take my little buddy like, oh, yeah, we be having rent. Y'all need this. You know what I'm saying? So right. it was like, you know, I became like the man of the house early. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's how that went. So it was crazy, man. It was like my life, a whole journey. It's a movie now. But that that video, I know I'll get long-winded, but that video, that was a video that like took off for me and like like separated me from like, you know, being a salesperson because I didn't know mm -hmm. that like if I would have knew what I knew now, I probably would have been like a billionaire because I I know for sure I could have made a lot of money if I would have monetized myself early. Cause I got like a lot of friends that's mm -hmm. <clears throat> doing social media and they make it. A lot. They were making 10 million, 15 million, 20, 30 million, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Off of social media is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And that's what's crazy because, like, early YouTubers who was on there that was crazy, they probably would have got paid a whole lot yeah. of money, but didn't like nobody Mr. know about Beast that. And Jack Paul, Jack, you know, mm -hmm. Jake Paul and, and, and Logan and all, they going crazy. They Pontiac getting... DDG, all, like, they, they was going crazy for a minute, you know what I'm saying? Even like the dude who used to do Unforgivable. Like, that dude was crazy on YouTube. Like, he was mm -hmm. viral as fuck. He would have got, hey, he still would have right. been around by now. Facts. Swear to God. Even Ice Pick JJ, remember him? Mm -hmm. The one I used to sing? Oh, no, he's talking about Ice JJ Fish. Yeah, Ice JJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said Ice Pick. You know, I would have forgot him. I just thought I was Ice Pick. He might have been Ice Pick. Ice JJ. Yeah, him he and was Terrio, going crazy, too. Two of my most hated yeah, people. Yeah. Little Terrio. Yeah. I remember when I was younger, I, you know how I was. When we couldn't afford no shoes, you would wear these shoes the whole school year. Facts. 
<laughs> toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, like with the toothbrush, you know what I'm saying? So like, and I'm already a sneakerhead, you know what I'm saying? It was crazy. So really that that elevated me even more. You know what I'm saying? I really became a sneakerhead like working for the company because I started making like two to three thousand a week. And I was spending like 80% of my check on like four. Oh, hey. I remember I was going crazy with the shoes, you know what I'm saying? What's the craziest sneaker purchase you had? The craziest what? Sneaker purchase. What's that one you just want one pair or yeah. like all together? No, just one pair or you, whatever. Um, the craziest sneaker pair, I think I bought like some Travis Scott's for like 2500 Which one? Which ones? Um, they was the uh the ones me and her had got. They uh they they the ones, the Jordan ones. The brown mm. ones? They were yeah, the brown okay, ones. Okay, yeah. The low top or high? The uh, high top ones. High top, mm. yeah. 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 What was that first sneaker that like made you become a sneaker here? Like the first one for me. Probably had to be the Charles Barkley. Uh, Ooh, which yeah, one? the black and white ones. Ah, oh, the CB yeah, 94s. Yeah, no, yeah, that made me a sneakerhead. That's when a them dropped, one. I was like, I gotta have shoes, bro. Like, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be honest with you, the Space Jams was like, yeah. It was either the Space Jam or the ones like these, but they was called the, um, remember the, the all right, they had the North Carolina ones like these. Columbia, and then, yeah, the Columbia. Oh, the Columbia. And then they, oh, had the other, they, they had the the original these. What's they called? Dog? The Concourse. Yeah, the Concourse. Oh, yeah. It was it was out of them three, because <clears throat> it was people. <clears throat> they was I don't know if y'all know, but like back in the day, people was really getting killed for the Jordans. No, nah, like don't... I swear to God, like I'm talking about, like like mm -hmm. I'm talking about, it was crazy. It was like a word. It, it's crazy how like the society is though. Like people, like we used to have wear for a line. Like I ain't only time I seen a line like that was two times. I seen a wear for a line wrapped around. People had to go get, you know what I'm saying? That EBT or whatever they had to get, like the food stamps. Mm -hmm. And I seen a line wrapped to go get some Jordans. And I was like, this is crazy. Cause I ain't never seen a line wrapped around to go get a job. <laughs> really, I was like, why we? You know what I'm saying? So it was like they brainwashing us. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy. But the thing is, is that that's what really like I, I was a sneaker because I was in one of those lines. I think I was in both of the lines. Like, <laughs> with, with the mama. <laughs> you went there first, then went yeah. there second. Out the gate. <laughs> Fact. So yeah, but that's why I said that's what really me came. Cause I swear we stood in the line for like six hours. My mom was damn. Tripping. But she, like, she was tripping because I had to give her some of the money. It was like, after I bought these shoes, yeah. whatever was left for my paper, I had to give her the rest. So she stood that line with me. <laughs> uh, like, I'm going to make crazy. sure you ain't get some shoes. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, up. that's, like I, that's the, like, I knew I was a sneakerhead when I stood in the line for like six hours for some shoes. Yeah, you yeah. better than me. Yeah. I've camped out before. It, I can't go back to that. That shit crazy. Yeah. We was really sitting outside in the cold for some shoes. Man, but you had crazy. to have them motherfuckers though. Before I had that paper route, and that's why I feel like that sales changed my life because, man, I used to be, man, I used to like hit licks like crazy. Like we call it hitting licks, but I really would hit, I was hitting licks on my own family. I remember I stole from my grandma and tried to help her find it. Like, <laughs> like I, I started off finding it and I was like, <laughs> What did you steal from Graham, bro? I stole my grandma a pocketbook and I was trying to help her find it. No the pocketbook? Yeah. Did you write yourself a check? <laughs> Out the pocketbook? It's a raggedy boat. <laughs> Nigga, how old was you when you were doing that? I was like 10 or 11. That's what I said. Like, I swear to God. You was young criminal. Yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. The real that's Nigerian. What, like, <laughs> no, it was crazy. No, that's what I said. I was going crazy for the shoes. Like, I remember I took my mama check and bought my friend some shoes. We both bought some. I bought her some air ones. Like, oh, no. <laughs> still in the Check for the air ones. You were about to be homeless for the air ones? <laughs> Not the air ones. They should have locked your ass up. The two tones? The, the two tones? Yeah, they oh, had like the oh, yeah. <laughs> The last Stevenson's. Hey, Ugh. but he was just like, me and my nigga gotta I have them. Got, That's crazy. Yeah. She was both our asses, but that was the air ones. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, still in front of the air ones. That, that might be the craziest story <laughs> <laughs> on their lineage for sure. Because it was always. There, <laughs> y'all could have waited. Yeah, they never sell it out. I could have grabbed it for another one. They was waiting. Yeah, they wasn't right. selling out at man, all. I swear to God, yeah, uh, man, that's crazy. Because you talking about N one, and we talked about it before. The gra they fucking merch was amazing, but them shoes changed a lot. Man, yeah, I'm that's true. probably the Wait. best marketing brand what? outside of Jordan. I ain't gonna lie. And no, yeah. besides that, the. I mean, you don't remember Jay Z shoes or Fifty Cent? The, I, I remember. Man, I think that was the best marketing because I did not like neither one not of them. The G the units oh, and them, uh, them, them Reebok S. Dot Carters. Man, 
Terrible I thought shoes. I was the man. I went to school. I was getting cooked by principal, <laughs> the kids. The, you the had principal. both of them? I swear to God. He, man, I had both of them. Man. I swear to God. So I rocked the S. Doc Carter's. The principal went crazy on me. I came back the next day with the 50s. He's like, GGG, you died. Like, <laughs> Did you have the tank top? But I took the bitch. I walked home with some sad and some Jesus slippers. Like I said. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, you ain't well, gonna you running both of them back is crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a wild pickup. No, that's, that's what it was. That, that's why I said it was marketing, bro, because I swear to God on everything. But Jay-Z was like one of my favorite rappers at the time. So I was like, man, whatever. I don't care. We came out with some gum. I'm getting that. It's like that's Jay-Z. Hey, you know but Hove had everybody wearing them big ass shirts and cufflinks <laughs> yeah. hey, I had some S dots. You was on the I had them for sure. I understand though. We've all had a, a shoe. We was like, why the fuck do we have them? For yeah. me, it was the Felos with the straps. That's out of pocket. I never should have had them. them. them oh, forever, give, me those, oh give me those <laughs> over the S-Dots. No. Out of the game. No. Forever I love Atlanta. Give me those over the S-Dots out of the game. Forever I love Atlanta. Yeah. strap I had the Grand Hill Felos. That's <laughs> it. And I don't even think I want them. Oh, my body did it. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> you need to let the strap hang for sure. Pause. Don't disrespect me. <laughs> I hey, would never. You had two straps, did you? The double- Excuse <laughs> me? Your felines had two straps. No, I didn't. <laughs> I had one. Oh, my Take God. Take them Kobe's off. <laughs> Whatever Kobe I love rolls it, over in this group. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> oh, shit. That's hey. hilarious. That is too <laughs> You took it too. No, hey. that's R.P. to B. R.P. to B. R.P. to B. See, look, niggas just go left. 